Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU kleptocrats are on the cadge for another £2 billion of UK taxpayers' cash. US Treasury Secretary Jack Lew tells Europe to focus on growth. Outrage as Britain's foreign aid bill goes up as other countries make cuts. Real Madrid faces EU probe amid soccer aid complaints. And finally, after a decade-long ban, the EU flag flies over Prague. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Britain needs to stump up an extra two billion to stop the European Union running out of cash. The Commission kleptocrats have now warned that the true hole in the EU budget will hit 16.2 billion euros this year. No more cheap Greek olives for you, Mr Draghi. It's time to get back to printing euros on the Heidelberg, as I'm afraid the Bruswillian bureaucrats have gone out and blown the budget once again. The new US Treasury Secretary, Jack Lew, has come out of his corner punching. He was quick to lay down his line of strategy for paddling the EU out of the fiscal mess, urging MEPs to action growth over austerity. <laughs> well, as a pundit, first year would have to say, Jackie old boy, you're wasting your breath. Barroso's bozo bully boys from Brussels couldn't action a bun fight in a patisserie. But of course, being from the USA, you still do have two hopes. Bob Hope and No Hope. A Paris-based economic think tank praised the UK for continuing to raise the amount of national output dedicated to aid in line with the targets. So let's see then. Here we are aboard the good ship Great Britain with our tug lines firmly attached to the EU Hindenburg as she implodes in an economic fireball. And what do we do? Shut down services, jettison jobs, increase taxation and drive up austerity. <laughs> For some reason, it appears the government has taken leave of its senses over the question of overseas aid. EU regulators investigating allegations that Real Madrid, along with other teams across the 27-nation bloc, benefited from aid banned under EU competition rules. The article goes on to reveal that the record nine-time European champion spent a world record £80 million to acquire Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United in 2009. For the first time in almost a decade, the blue and gold European Union flag is flying above Prague Castle. There isn't a tank, artillery or infantry man in sight, a masterful example of how the pen is mightier than the sword. However, all is not well in the Czech capital and this nation's traumatic memories of occupation by the Nazis followed by decades of subjugation by the Soviets make it particularly sensitive to feelings of being bullied by outside powers. Today in our video library, rampant europhile Guy Verhofstadt has hailed the rebirth of the economic boogeyman. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no pro-Europe fan myself, and why would I be in favour of something that I cannot elect in or out of power? But Mr Verhofstadt puts forward an apocalyptic scene, preaching with the passion of Martin Luther King. He speaks of economic destruction for Germany and the collapse of the United Kingdom. Suicide for Germany, a nightmare for Europe and a horror story for the UK. According to Guy Verhofstadt, that is why we need a fully integrated federal United States of Europe. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E-Unit. 
remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Words section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+. Links to the community page are below.